All right, and uh, in this video, we're going to go over uh, making some accessories for the Bruder, uh, specifically the Bruder D11. Uh, this can be used on other construction type equipment. I'm actually a Trimble GPS dealer. I deal with the Ag products, but um, the construction systems, you know, the GPS antennas on the blade is kind of a neat accessory. Um, and so let me just show you my uh, D11 with the GPS added to it. These are to kind of simulate a uh, the Trimble GPS receivers uh, that mount to the blade. You can see we got coil cords going to the like the hub where the cables would hook into, as well as having your uh, GPS antennas with little status lights and the um, kind of the, the logo on there, kind of guided by Trimble GPS. So I'll take a picture of this as well and upload in this video. But it's kind of accessories uh, that the mounting plate will actually just glue to the back side of the blade and the mast will bolt to it. So if you didn't want them on there, uh, you can unscrew those. <clears throat> These files I will make available on Thingiverse. You'll see a, a link in the description. Um, I ask that you print them, use them for your own use, but don't sell them. Um, I am going to make these kits available uh, for $25 for the kit. That'll include shipping within the U.S. Um, if you're overseas and want something like that, give me a shout. Uh, just send me an email. Uh, I'll put my email right down at the bottom or kind of up here at the top here. Uh, so if you want to send me an email, if you want one of these. I've posted stuff like this on eBay in the past, some accessories I make. Um, but I can't just keep up with that eBay checking it every day. So uh, if you want one, send me an email. We can um, get it to you. But I kind of want to show you the process I use to going over these. Uh, I print these in multiple parts to get the um, kind of the highest accuracy or uh, the highest precision. I do use supports for this base. This is the main GPS receiver housing. I print it upside down. Um, you can see it's got like the bulkhead where the connector would be as well as the shape of what one of the Trimble's like MS900 series housings are, like the 985 or 995, uh, the model numbers change so often. Um, so got that, the main part of the receiver, then got the bracket, and this bracket will glue onto the bottom. So let's put a couple dabs of super glue in there uh, and glue the, the mast base to the bottom, bottom of it. Uh, so actually, let's just kind of do that real quick. And so I don't use a whole lot. I usually just put a couple little dabs. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to take a uh, razor blade knife and just kind of clean up the circle so that it goes on the um, uh, the quarter inch styrene for the actual mast. Uh, it fits well. So I'll kind of put just a couple dots on each of the four corners. Don't need a whole lot. I'm a big fan of just super glue. And we'll stick this on there. And so that mast will kind of, oops, moved on me. The mast will line up with, there's uh, four simulated like bolts. Uh, so if you look at a, one of the actual housings, that's what it looks like. Um, so whenever I do this, where my little clamps go? Grab across the camera here. I keep these clamps here just so I know it kind of gets in there. I always put a, a clamp on each side of this thing for uh, just a few minutes. So we'll give that a second to uh, kind of sit and dry. Um, I use quarter inch tube, um, styrene, uh, polystyrene. Uh, these I picked up at Hobby Lobby for $3.99. I've also bought these on my, off of Amazon for about seven bucks for a package of three. Um, so it's your basic stuff. Check out your hobby shop. Most hobby shops will have this. Uh, you can also go to Hobby Lobby. Again, pretty decent price of four bucks. Uh, and I'll cut them into, uh, into lengths of four and a quarter inches. Uh, this simulates about a five foot uh, antenna height, which is the approximate height um, on those antennas. And then those tubes are about three and a half inches diameter. So the quarter inch works out really well. Um, then I have, this is the base that will bolt down to the bottom. So we'll go ahead and put a dab of glue in there. Again, don't need a whole lot. Um, and then shove the tube in. I also use the housing out of an ink pen 
kind of push this against there just to kind of make sure that's square and that's not sitting at an angle. So if I kind of put it in and then push this against there, kind of helps use this as a guide to square that up. So I get the bottom half, then I can take this top half and I'll put a couple dabs of glue in there. And then we'll glue the top half on, push it in all the way, and then we want to make sure it's square. We don't want that thing angling real hard. So spin in each direction a couple times, check the, uh, make sure that's square and that looks oh, a little off. That's not bad, I can live with that. So now at this point, I do have a, uh, a top housing. And again, I, I really like, uh, all these designs are my own original designs that I made. So like I said, I do have them shared to uh, Thingiverse, but uh, they're not for resale. So if you want to use them to print your, for your own use, but don't print these and sell these, that would be uh, violating Thingiverse's uh, license agreement. So, but I paint this bottom half first. I got it all yellow, um, just kind of some basic equipment yellow uh, from, um, uh, your any big box store or whatever. Uh, Trimble yellow is actually not cat yellow. Cat yellow is more of a darker gold color. Uh, Trimble yellow is a more bright yellow. So I'm going with the Trimble uh, yellow kind of format. So I'll paint these yellow. And then once it's painted yellow, then I'll glue the top cap on. So let's move on to the next step. Uh, once they're painted yellow, I then kind of take a dab. I use the uh, uh, Tester's model paint um, use green and yellow to put kind of a status light indicator. So I put a green light on top, a yellow light in the middle. Uh, the green light um, would indicate like it's tracking satellites. The yellow light would be it's like it's radio communication. Um, we have good GPS, so if it was a red light, that'd mean an error. So we don't want to put red lights on there. We want to make sure it looks like it's actively working. Um, and then I also paint this front control panel kind of housing. Uh, black as well. I'll zoom that in so hopefully you can see the status lights and the black. Uh, and then I take a real small um, drill and I'll drill out the hole in this bulkhead. Uh, and that is for the coil cable. So this coil cable is, um, I can't remember if it's 20 or 22 gauge wire that I actually just wrap it really tight around a steel rod and then I do solder the end so it doesn't fray, but then that just slides in the hole. And, oops, let me put this one in here. So that slides in the hole and it looks like it's attached. Um, it's kind of a stiff wire so you can actually form it to get the look that you want on there. Um, but then I also print these little bulkheads, print a hole in them, then I take a drill and drill it out as well so that the other end of the wire can go into this bulkhead and this simulates the electrical connection on the dozer. So these glue onto the top of the dozer so the wires, each wire can plug into it. Um, I've also purchased water slide decal paper and we put the guided by Trimble GPS, kind of a bad glare above there. Hope you can see a little better. The guided by Trimble GPS uh, on the uh, mast as well as I put the little Trumbull logo up on top. Try to get this kind of as authentic looking as possible. Um, sorry about the glare, I gotta get a better lighting set up in here. Um, but kind of get that on there to give it a more realistic look. So we glue them together, we'll paint them yellow, put the decals on, glue the caps on top, and then add decals. So I'll kind of show you how I add the decals as well. Uh, I've actually already went through all these and put the little Trumbull logo on top, so I cut it out really small and just, it's just water slide decal paper. Uh, now when these are on your dozer, the cables are kind of facing in to go towards the center, so we want to put the decals so they're out. So I will usually set two up here when I'm ready and put them in the order that they're gonna be on the dozer. And then just to kind of be consistent with it, I'll put the decal uh, an inch down from the bottom of this housing. So I already got a couple cut out. I will uh, drop it in my water. I'll let that sit there for a second or so. And sorry, you're not going to see the best detail on this, or maybe not. Maybe you will. Now that that's in for a second, I'll grab my tweezers, 
pull that out. You want to be careful with this tweezers or something really hard can uh, kind of ruin it, ruin the decal. So I'll set it on the front there, put it down. I usually kind of just hold my finger on the top. Ooh, that's not ready yet. Let's give that another second. You want to just slide right off that paper. My water is getting colder, so it's not as uh, potent. Hot water it comes off really quick. So I'll set that down kind of about where I want it. Pull the paper out from underneath it. And then we need to position it a little bit. So if it didn't get perfectly straight or squared up, you can kind of... I usually take like an exacto, and you can uh, shift it a little bit. You have a you have a few minutes of adjusting it. It will move very easily this decal paper. So you don't want to wipe it or rub it. You want to let it dry. I'll blow sometimes lightly if there's a big dab of water, um, or if you got a lot of water. I've taken like a a sponge brush and kind of just touched beside it to draw draw some of that water out. Uh, but that one's going that way. Let's set the other one in. So like I said, for guys in the U.S., uh, the kit would include uh, two mass mounts that glue onto your dozer, two poles with the screws, two coil cables, and the block on front. Like everything you need to put like what the GPS look is on this dozer. Uh, and that will include shipping. So. I'm not uh, going to be able to retire off these accessories, but at the same time, I don't want to make them so terribly expensive. So I'll set this one on here. Drop the paper down. And now I kind of line this back up. I want these decals to look straight, so I'm bringing up the same level. Or kind of the same measurement about one inch down from the top so as that water dries it'll draw down to it and there's a set of GPS masks so hope you found this informative interesting like I said if you want a set of these send me an email uh, like I said it's on the screen as well as um, if you want to make a set yourself uh, find the STL files and Find yourself some wire. If you want to make the decals up, you can just buy decal paper and uh, print the stuff on it. Um, but hope you enjoyed that. Hey, you guys have a good day.